Hello, seventh graders. Um, so yesterday we talked a little bit about percent error and percent change. Today we're going to do some of the same. I kind of want to focus on percent change. Um, hopefully you just watched today's push-up video. Um, so remember yesterday I did 32 push-ups in 30 seconds. Today I upped it. I did 40 push-ups in 30 seconds. Now my form today wasn't quite as good. All right, I had some half push-ups in there, but we'll call it 40 anyways. I really wanted to make sure I didn't end up doing the same number of push-ups as yesterday. All right, so let's find out what percent my push-ups changed in comparison to yesterday's push-ups. All right, so percent change. Let's deal with the percent change proportion, which is change. I'm going to use delta, the little triangle. I'm going to do the absolute value sign around that. So change over original. equals percent, I'll call that P, all over 100. All right, because remember, percents are parts out of 100, so we could just set up a proportion for any percent question. Um, first thing we need to do is let's um, figure out what our change is, our delta. So delta, which is a fancy way to say change, is just the difference between the two values. So we'll do yes, we'll do today's minus yesterday's. It really doesn't matter what order we do it in because we're taking the absolute value. So 40 minus 32 is 8. So my change from yesterday is 8 push-ups. I did 8 more today than I did yesterday. So we're going to do 8 all over the original. Now this, um, this tripped some of you guys up the last couple weeks. The original is the initial value that I started with, which would be yesterday's push-ups. So I have 8 over 32 equals P all over 100. Now oh, my equal signs didn't line up. I don't like that. All right. Now we're going to solve this proportion for P. <clears throat> and one of the easiest ways to solve proportions is to cross multiply. Um, ooh, we could do this one a different way. But I'll show you guys another way in a second. So let's cross multiply. So we're going to do 32 times P, which is 32P equals 100 times 8, which is 800. Now to solve for P, it's being multiplied by 32. So we are going to divide both sides by 32. Divide by 32. And we could do long division here, but for the sake of time, let's just get our calculators out. So 800 divided by 32 gives us 25. Nice, I knew that was going to happen. So we have 25% equals P. Very good. And you guys know my rule for answering. I like to answer in a sentence. So the percent change, and in this case it's increase, the percent increase was 25%. So I did 25% more push-ups today than I did yesterday. Awesome. Um, pause the video for a second. Is there another way to solve this proportion? I think there is. All right. So cross multiplying is the go-to way to do it. However, look at 8 over 32. My son in fourth grade are simplifying fractions. Do 8 and 32 have a common factor? Yes. They're both divisible by 8. So we can divide both by 8, divide by 8. That gives us one fourth. All right, so we're in our proportion, let's replace eight over 32 with one over four. So I have one fourth equals P over 100. All right, and again, we could cross multiply. Ooh, my projector is getting a little shaky here. Slow down. Now, what can we take, what can we multiply four by to get to 100? 25, so four times 25 gives us 100. Now if it's proportional, you're going to multiply the top number by the same scale factor or constant of proportionality. All right, times 25. 1 times 25 gives us 25. So P equals 25 percent. So we get the same answer doing it two different ways. All right, I just wanted to point that out. All right guys, so I'm interested to see how what you guys are doing during your, your uh, Coronas break. All right, I want to make sure you guys are staying active. 
So if you guys have any other experiments you can do with running, like run a mile one day, take your time. Then run a mile the next day, see what your percent change is. You could do the push-up thing that I'm doing. You do it pull-ups, sit-ups, anything, all right? So post your comments. Let me know what you guys are up to. Um, again, you guys could do any of the percent skills with IXL. Percent skills. These are the L skills. And the uh, percent change skills are L10. So percent change, which deals exactly with what we just did. Percent change or L10. So guys, spend a little bit of time today or whenever you watch this video. Um, I do want to note, you guys do not have to watch these videos as I post them. You can watch yesterday's video, the day before, if you fall behind. Um, just watch any of them. As long as you guys are staying active, that's what I'm concerned with. All right, so feel free to email me. Leave me a comment with any questions. Um, stay tuned.